Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why I love skip trial texture while doing it. And if you missed the last videos of this series, I had to repair 16 soffit vent holes that blistered up the texture and paint. I also skim coated the ceiling over an ugly knockdown texture to get it smooth and ready for the skip trial texture, which I'm about to do. After the skim coat dried overnight, it was time to skip trowel. I'm using my Werner Walk platform, which is a stainless steel, extends out to about 13 feet. I just got it on a couple buckets. I'm using my Hawk and a 12 inch drywall taping knife to apply the skip trowel texture. I just get a little bit on my knife at a time and control the pressure as I go. Also, I add sand to the joint compound to about a pancake-like consistency, which creates the skip in the skip trowel. Keep in mind that skip trowel is a regional term. So what is skip trowel here in Florida and other areas could actually look like a different texture. So always check and see exactly what these textures are called in your area. So it moves pretty fast. And some of the things I love about skip trial texture is its hiding ability. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of prep to cover and protect stuff because it's by hand. If I was spraying a knockdown texture, everything in the area would have to be covered except the ceiling. So. This goes super fast. It's a great Mediterranean look and it hides a multitude of sins. Like I said in the last video, after I had repaired 16 holes, if you were just gonna try and spot match the knockdown texture, you would see every single hole that had been patched. But by skim coating over the entire ceiling, it gives me a fresh canvas to start new and the ceiling is, will be flawless. Even though it had been repaired, there was a big crack going across it. So the skip trial texture really, really can help you out. And it's doable for a DIYer as well. I like to apply it in one direction and then when I knock it down, I knock it down in the opposite direction. You see, it's a good look goes fast super uh, durable and I know a lot of people here in Florida by the pool patios we have drywall ceilings it's not a big deal the key is in your uh, coatings a nice thick heavy bodied primer and exterior paint will protect this ceiling for years to come. There's the texture a little close up. I do about a probably three foot by four foot section and then knock it down. And when I knock it down, I go across what the pull was. You don't have to do it that way. Also, you don't have to use a hawk. You can use a drywall mud pan. I've had guys work for me that preferred to do it out of a mud pan instead of a hawk. This is how I just learned to do it. I also do stucco. So it's just a personal preference, but for me, the hawk works great. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 25 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, and painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Another thing I love about the skip trial texture is you can control where you put the texture. If you're trying to control where you put the texture with the knockdown over a repair or something, it's just going to start piling up and then when you go knock it down, it's just going to be a big flat spot of texture and it makes it obvious where the repairs are. So with the skip trial, you can just control it as you need. 
progressing further into the ceiling. That's where the repairs were. Again, you can't even see where they were, especially with this skip trial texture. And I know it looks ununiform right now because of the color variation, but once it's primed and painted, it's a beautiful texture. I do it in a lot of the higher end homes and a lot of times I'll do it on the patio ceilings because what happens is the paper tape joints fail a lot of times over, over the years. And so I'll do a repair on all the tape joints using a fiber fuse or fiberglass mesh tape and a setting type compound. And then I'll retexture the whole ceiling after skim coating with the skip trial texture. Been doing it like this for years, never get callbacks, and people love it because they end up with a brand new ceiling from an eyesore ceiling. So everybody loves the skip trial when I do it. Uh, I also do a skip trial on ceilings after I remove popcorn. Like I said, it's a versatile texture and everybody loves it. I know there's spots in the country that people despise texture, but here in Florida and the Southeast, I know Arizona, California, all those areas have textures on their drywall. Again, I'm just pulling lightly with pressure and the knife is pretty much almost flat on the ceiling. Light pressure, and just pull, the best pull is towards you. A lot of times when you start going opposite ways, it can make the texture a little inconsistent, but doing this by hand, you can always fix it. If it's too bad, you can just scrape it right off before it dries and retry again. That's the good thing about the skip trowel. Knock down if you try to just scrape it off and then respray, you're going to see a variation in the texture. Got these pot lights pulled down. I will leave those down overnight while the skip trial dries. I don't want any indentions in the texture. Now it's time to go the opposite way across the direction that I pulled. Just gives it a good look. I don't like a skip trial texture where you only go in one direction because it looks like railroad tracks going across your ceiling. It's just a, not a good look. All right, let me drop back and show you how fast this stuff dries. It's just an all-purpose joint compound. You can see it's already pretty much dry where I started. Couple little areas over here that is just a little damp, but it dries super fast. I'm gonna let it dry overnight before I do the priming and painting. But as you can see, it's almost dry at this point. Isn't that a good look? I'm pretty stoked on that. The homeowners are very stoked. Can't wait to get it painted. Like I said in a previous video, they're putting their house on the market, so they wanted to do it right and make it look good without breaking the bank as well. So it's not a giant ceiling, just a, a decent amount. I can do every step in a day. So that worked out pretty good. All right, there's kind of an overview of the area. Again, this is an oceanfront house killer location and stay tuned for next week's video where I show you some tricks of the trade for priming and painting the ceiling. I'll let you know all the materials I use and like I said some tricks of the trade and it didn't go out with, with a little bit of drama. Some major rainstorms came by while we were painting. Uh, it can get ugly sometimes when you're painting exteriors here in Florida. Isn't that a pretty little waterfall we have going? Leave me a hashtag drywall tube down in the comments if you're enjoying these videos. I'll leave links in the description to all the other videos in this video series.
Be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to subscribe to my channel. Also check out these two videos I have in the end screen. I think you might like them. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching.